So today we're going to be installing our free software that we'll be using throughout this course. It's really important that we get this right and make sure we get the right version. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, you are going to go Autodesk free software and it is just this link right here. That will open up to here and you'll see there's a list of software you can have that you might use at your school. We're just interested in Maya or Maya, depends how, who you are. It then links us here and it says I have an account to sign in or I need an account. Chances are you'll probably need to create an account. So when you click create an account it will lead to here and you can select yourself as a student. Um, it will show your date of birth and where you're going so high school and it might ask you for some information there. So create an account and once you've done that it will send you an email and you'll just need to verify that. Once you've finished that we'll go over here and we can go I have an account and so we'll sign in you can put your information in there and then what we'll be able to do is make sure we download the right version so what we can do here is we can say okay so license type uh, if it's just for your home computer you will just want personal individual use the version we want is we want 2019 so it's important that we get that one because that's what we got at school. If you get 2020, it won't work here at school. Um, operating system, so you'll need to find out which one you've got. Chances are you know. And Windows, and then the language, and it will pop up with the code down here. And it will also send you an email. Um, once you've done that, uh, as well as here, it will say install. So what you can do is, if you've got the installation files for me, you can just run that and install it, and then run the software, type it in. If you haven't got it, then what you can do is you can download it. So you can click on this arrow right here where my mouse is, and you can either choose to install it using the Autodesk um, software, or maybe you just want to do a browser download like you would normally. Um, up to you, and then you just type in your code there. Um, I think that's about it. Hopefully that's easy enough. If not, check out some other guides on YouTube, see how you go.